Hi guys, John Chitwood, Chitwood Family Farm. Uh, wanted to give you kind of a quick review and uh, how I use uh, the Appanot uh, Queen Marking System and uh, tell you about some success and failure I've had with it. So here we go. Here's the system. It comes in this nice box. What you get with that is these uh, marking discs. Uh, they're metal, so they're ferrous, and this pin has a magnet in it. The other thing you get with it is this glue. We'll talk about that a little more here in a minute. The uh, pin is really nice uh, in terms of quality. Uh, the way it works is it actually has multiple, I guess you'd call them stylus in there, and depending on how you rotate the pin, and then when you press on the button, will give you the different stylus out. So this uh, is the magnetic end, and you press this button, it goes back in, and this it's kind of a chisel point. It's kind of hard to see, but you use that chisel point on that tab where the disc is connected to be able to cut it off there because it is metal, so you have to kind of press hard. You'll need a piece of wood or something to get that off. And it's kind of hard to see here, but each of the tab, each of the discs are individually numbered. There we go. So this is a good way, if you're going to bring in some queens that you're thinking about using as breeder queens, a good way to be able to track them as they move around. Now, when putting these on, the thing that I found best, that works best, is actually this German um, queen tube. You're able to get her really well situated and really still and, and that opening is large enough to be able to put that disc on her back when you've got her in there. Now the glue that comes with this um, is definitely petroleum based and this is one of the failures I had. I'm glad I did a, a test queen with it. I found a queen that was okay but I wasn't in love with and I went ahead and marked her and uh, as soon as I put her back in the hive, they just balled her. Uh, they, I don't think they like the smell of that at all. So I went out to a local fly fishing store and I got some water-based cement that works okay. The, the cement that comes with it, it works really well, really fast. So kind of the solution and workaround that I use is after I mark him, I go ahead and put the queen back in the cage and I put a, just a, a little bit of uh, candy in there just to give it enough time for that smell to dissipate and just for them to get used to her and, and release her back again into the hive. That way I don't have her sitting out for a long time. Uh, she gets back in and gets to work and, and everything goes really well. But uh, probably what you want to see, the other thing this kit comes with, is it comes with a uh, test bee, or an example bee. And so you can pick her up right there. It works really well, and she'll just buzz around on the end of that. Um, this is a nice way to pick it up. And so especially if it's a breeder queen and you're wanting to get in and reorganize that hive, this is a really easy to way to pick her up. And I found what works best with this setup are these queen cages. I think I got this from Better Bee. And so it slides open and closed. And so what I'll do is just pick that queen up, put her in there, drop her off, slide it closed, put her in my pocket so she's nice and safe. And then uh, once I'm done manipulating the hive, I just open that back up and let her walk on right on out back into the hive. Uh, that seems to work really, really well. Um, the discs are really durable and easy to see. The system overall is, um, is pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. 
and you know I bought this it was a couple bucks um, again this is for fly tying you know just this metal point um, jar set up actually has a um, basically what's a little squeegee here so I can I can take this top with this and put it on this jar of cement and use it to pull out some glue and squeegee it off so I just have just enough glue to put on um, to put on that the back of that disc before I marker uh, but you know a toothpick or anything else would work just equally well but it's nice to have that fine point as well when you place that disc on the back of the queen you're able to manipulate it and move it around and, and get it situated uh, on her back nice and easy so there you go if you have any more questions uh, i'd be happy to answer them about the system or if you have any suggestions i'd love to hear them so uh, have fun beekeeping and uh, there you go